The Magic Library Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between rolling hills, there was a peculiar library. It wasn't just any library, it was a magical one. The librarian, Mr. Thompson, had a long white beard and twinkling blue eyes that seemed to hold a secret. Children from the village flocked to the library every day after school. They marveled at the shelves, which held books of all shapes and sizes. Some were ancient, their pages yellowed and fragile. Others were bright and new, their spines uncreased. One rainy afternoon, a young girl named Emily entered the library, her eyes wide with wonder. She approached Mr. Thompson, who smiled warmly. Welcome, Emily. What brings you here today? Emily hesitated, then said, I want to read a story. A story that will help me improve my English. Mr. Thompson's eyes twinkled even brighter. Ah, you've come to the right place. Follow me. He led Emily to a section of the library she hadn't noticed before. It was filled with books adorned with labels like Beginner's Corner and Learning Adventures. Emily picked up a book titled The Enchanted Forest. As she opened it, a soft glow emanated from the pages. She looked at Mr. Thompson, her eyes wide with amazement. This book, he said, is special. It will help you learn English in a magical way. Just read aloud, and the words will come to life. Emily took a deep breath and began to read. The words flowed from her lips, and as she read, the room around her transformed. Trees sprouted, their leaves a kaleidoscope of colors. Birds sang melodious tunes and a gentle breeze ruffled her hair. She continued reading, feeling the language become a part of her. The sentences danced in her mind, painting vivid pictures. Weeks passed, and Emily returned to the library each day. She devoured book after book, each one transporting her to new worlds. She met knights and dragons, traveled to distant planets, and even had tea with talking animals. One day, as Emily sat reading by the library window, a boy named Liam approached her. Hi, he said shyly. I've seen you here every day. What's your name? I'm Emily, she replied, smiling. And you? I'm Liam. I love this library too. It's like a hidden treasure. Emily nodded, her eyes sparkling with agreement. It really is. From that day on, Emily and Liam became fast friends. They explored the library together, discovering new books and sharing their favorite stories. Their English improved by leaps and bounds, but more importantly, they discovered a shared love for adventure and imagination. One sunny afternoon, as Emily and Liam sat on the library steps, Mr. Thompson approached them. You two have become quite the readers, he said with a grin. We owe it all to this magical library. Emily said. Mr. Thompson nodded. Remember, the real magic isn't in the books themselves, but in what you make of them. They are the key, but you hold the power. Emily and Liam looked at each other, understanding dawning in their eyes. They realized that the library had given them more than just language skills. It had given them a lifelong love for learning and the power to imagine, dream, and create. And so, the magic of the library lived on, not just in the books on the shelves, but in the hearts and minds of Emily and Liam, who continued to explore the world through the pages of their favorite stories.